Hey guys, just a quick workout brief to run you through the main session of this week's training program. So we start with our two minute jog and four minutes of your own mobility, just to get the body warm and ready to go. From there, we recommend doing some run drills. Run drills are a fantastic way to improve your running economy. So make sure that you do these regularly. We, we put them in the program. We'll, we'll provide some examples for you, but we'll also give you plenty of opportunity to individually do the ones that you feel are best for your program and your body uh, and prepare you for your main session. So if you're not sure of what run drills to do, make sure to hit us up on Team Builder, either ask myself or any of the coaches that you're working with, and we'll definitely guide you in the right direction of some run drills that are specific to your running technique and your athlete development. So after you spend five, 10 minutes working on your running mechanics, we'll then go into our main session of the week, which is around 6K of volume. Threshold running is that middle tier running. So it's not aerobic feel-good running. It's not repeat speed or sprinting, but it's right in the middle. It should feel the hardest session to do from a exertion point of view because your heart rate will be typically quite high. Uh, the work to rest ratios are designed specifically to improve your cardiovascular fitness and the endurance of your legs um, to be able to handle this type of workload and this work rate, uh, but it'll be it'll be advantageous for you for your gut running on the field, your repeatability, and your ability to recover from hard efforts. All right, so it's really really important, and as a byproduct, you'll also get a better two k time trial, which I know we're all motivated to do. So, the way a set will work is you'll complete a six hundred meter effort with your targets, you'll have your individual target uh, that you need to try and hit that will be in Team Builder, then rest for 90 seconds. Then you have your 500 meter target, rest for 90 seconds, 400, you can see where I'm going with this, 400 meters, hit your target, 90 seconds, 300, 200. All those targets will be super maximal targets from your 2K time trial. So we'll use that guide, that, that average speed that you moved at, whether it be five meters per second, and we'll pump that into our calculator to give you your targets for where we want to hit for your future 2K, but also to make sure that the targets are specific to your training age and experience so we're not overloading your body. So that, that data is really specific and, and allowing us to prepare your body to improve, but also to limit the risk of overload type injuries like hamstrings, quads, groins, and so forth, or shin splints. Um, Really important, you take that 90 second rest. Like always, focus on your breath. Try and slow your breathing rate right down. If you've got a heart rate strap, monitor your heart rate and see how well you can recover. That's a great tool for a footballer to uh, improve your ability to recover between short efforts to help you on the field. And then we'll have five minutes between sets. We've got three of those sets. Okay, I hope this helps explain the workout, give you a bit of context. If you have any questions, hit me up in the Team Builder app.